Hey everyone, thanks for clicking in. Today we're in the kitchen pickling eggs. Once we have our hens laying eggs for us, we're going to need creative ways to use the eggs and to preserve them. One of the ways will be water glassing our eggs, which preserves the entire egg, shell and all, for a year or more. And we'll have an upcoming video on that when we start getting our own eggs. So if you haven't subscribed, now would be the time to do it. But today, today we are talking about a delicious treat that can be used as a side dish, it can be used um, in egg salad, it can be used for some spicy deviled eggs. There are a lot of uses for pickled eggs, or you can eat them right out of the jar, which is what Dan likes to do. Pickled eggs can keep in the refrigerator three to four months, so they're a great use for those extra eggs if you ever have any. We're going to go over two delicious, easy ways to pickle eggs. We'll first do a spicy type pickled egg, and then we're going to do a sweet pickled egg. Then I'm going to give you a good base recipe that you can use to make your own recipe. And toward the end of this video, I'm going to give you a list of over 40 different ingredients you can use to put in your pickled eggs. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I've made about 30 hard boiled eggs because about nine or so large eggs will fit into one quart jar. First up is the spicy pickled eggs. This is a version of the spicy pickles recipe that's elsewhere on the site. Mm -hmm. Let's make the brine first for our spicy pickled eggs. We're gonna need two cups of vinegar. Now you can use apple cider vinegar or you can use white vinegar. Um, I happen to like the flavor of the apple cider vinegar, so we're gonna go ahead and use apple cider vinegar. To that we're gonna add four cups of water. Next is two tablespoons of sugar. Then we're gonna add a quarter cup of pickling salt. You don't wanna use iodized salt. You wanna use a salt in an ad, it can be sea salt. Um, I'd always just use pickling salt. Now for this next part, you can add, this is pickling spice, and you can add the pickling spice right to the jar if you want to, but what I like to do is put it in cheesecloth and then boil it with the brine and then just remove that and add other spices into the jar. But you really can do it either way. One of the things you wanna keep in mind is that a clove will turn your eggs brown if you decide to just add the spice right to the jar. But we're gonna take about a tablespoon of pickling spice and we're just gonna wrap it up. I just kind of tie it. You don't really need a string or anything to hold it together. Then this goes right inside. Um, it's, it floats around in the brine while you're heating it up. So with our brine, we want it to come to a rolling boil. And while it's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and prep our eggs in our jars. Now, like I said, about nine uh, large eggs will fit in a, jar, in a one quart jar. I like to use the wide mouth, it's just a lot easier to get them in and out. We're gonna do some layering. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put about a clove of garlic worth over these eggs. We're gonna add to that a little bit of mustard seed. We want about a tablespoon altogether when we're done. We're also gonna add in a few black peppercorns. 
Usually I add some kind of hot red pepper, but today we're gonna make it differently. We're gonna add a couple jalapeno slices in. So then we're just gonna keep layering And any kind of vegetable that you put in here, like jalapeno slices, are an extra like treat when you get the eggs out. Because any vegetable you add to here is going to get pickled and it's going to taste wonderful. And we've got a couple extra, so we'll just slide those down the side. We don't want to pack the jar too tightly. The reason is we want the brine to get around the entire egg. If you were to pack it any tighter than that, then your eggs would be missing some flavor that they could have. So the brine has boiled now. All the sugar is dissolved. So what we're going to do is just fill up our jar. Probably should have used a funnel, <laughs> but oh well, it'll work. All right, our jar is full. We're going to let this cool down and then we're going to put a lid on it. And we don't want to, we want to use um, a seal that we've already used previously for canning. There's no need to waste a perfectly good seal on this because we're going to be storing this in the refrigerator uh, to let it pickle in the refrigerator. Now, there is some controversy over um, whether or not you can actually can eggs. A lot of people do it. They have a recipe from their grandmother's grandmother and it works just fine and they've never had anything happen to them and you know you you decide for yourself whether you want to can this but eggs are a lot more dense than something like say asparagus or cucumbers or any other vegetable they're a lot more dense and so the question of, of regarding safety is does the pickling medium get to the yolk fast enough for it not to uh, spoil. So there is a botulism risk if you do decide to can it and just leave it on the shelf, but we're gonna put ours in the refrigerator and we're going to refrigerate. These will be ready in about four to six weeks. They will be at peak flavor. If I was using small eggs, probably two to three weeks would be enough, but try to keep your hands out of them while they are uh, developing their flavors. All right, for our sweet pickles, two cups of vinegar, again, either apple cider or white, depending on the flavor you like. We're gonna put in an equal amount of sugar. So you want just as much sugar as you have vinegar. Then you're gonna put in a tablespoon and a half of canning salt. And we're going to bring this to a boil to dissolve the sugar and the salt into the vinegar. So while our brine is coming to a boil, I have here about a tablespoon of celery seed and about a teaspoon of mustard seed. And we're going to do our layering again. So we're going to put in three eggs into our jar. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of mustard seed, some of our celery seed, three more eggs. So now our brine has boiled and the sugar is ready and I got smart. I grabbed my canning funnel. We learn from our mistakes here. We'll let that cool and then we'll put a lid on it and put it in the fridge. All right, and now for the classic 
uh, pickled egg recipe that you can add your own ingredients to. And of course, you can. You don't have to reinvent the wheel if you have a favorite pickling recipe that you use for, on pickles. Um, that's fine too. This is a very classic recipe that would be a good base recipe for anything that you wanted to do. So first we're gonna add three cups of white vinegar. I'm gonna stick to the classic recipe and not use my apple cider. A quarter cup of sugar, a tablespoon of salt, and you'll bring that to a boil. So in this classic recipe I'm giving you, you need 12 small eggs <clears throat> to go into your one quart jar. And I'm gonna give you the measurements for that, but this equals a quart. So I'm just gonna kind of divide it up into these two because I wanna experiment with these two and put a few extra ingredients in it. So for the classic recipe is two cloves of garlic and I always just like to use the already prepared. So I'm gonna put one in each one um, half a teaspoon is what I'm using. That looks to be about a clove of garlic to me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my eggs in. And I don't know how many will fit in here. We're just gonna put three or four since I'm experimenting. We'll go with four in each. Then to that, for the classic recipe, you would add a bay leaf. And that would be it. You would pour your brine over, let it cool, and put it in the fridge. But since I'm experimenting with these, anything you add to the jar is going to get pickled. It'll add a little flavor and also get pickled. And it'll be like a little treat when you go to open the jar. So to this one, I'm adding a stalk of green onion. I'm adding a couple of green beans because green beans are delicious pickled. If you know what dilly beans are, then you know about pickled green beans. I've also put some baby carrots in here and I'm also going to add some purple cabbage. Now, if you add anything that's called red, I guess it's called red cabbage. If you add red bell pepper, if you add uh, red cabbage, if you add beets, if you add anything red, then your eggs will turn pink. So that's kind of an interesting, <laughs> interesting little uh, side effect of adding something that's red. Now in the other one, I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of horseradish. I'm going to add some black peppercorns. Then I'm going to add the brine first and then add my other secret ingredient. gonna fill this one up about halfway with the brine to this one I'm going to add hot sauce we're gonna see if we can make some hot eggs with the horseradish and the hot sauce. So in order to get that mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it. I'm just going to put the lids on. And you can already see that it's turning pink from the cabbage. 
If you experiment and come up with your own recipe for pickled eggs, please, please let us know. And to give you some inspiration, here is that list of over 40 ingredients that you can add to your pickled egg recipe. We appreciate you hanging out with us today. And don't forget, next week we're doing that special field trip where we're going to the Four Seasons Greenhouse where they are growing plants even in the harsh winter. See you next time.